Hello everyone. Welcome back to Opening Amiibos until Tears of the Kingdom comes out. Uh, I choose a new location. I can't talk. I chose a new location. I want to do the heart pond because it looked cute. I'm just now noticing there's already treasure in it. We were going to put our treasure in it. How dare they. Ooh. Neat. Let's test it out. We're done. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of... Where am I going? You. Anyway, I don't know, I have plenty of open weapon slots. Oh, cloudy day. I don't see a cloud passing over us, but... I see the shadow of one. Alrighty. You guys already know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna try to save some fish. And hopefully you idiots won't land yourselves this time, and you can actually survive. Nice arrows, nice. Try not to swim under my chest, please, or it will kill you. And I'm done feeling bad. I don't care if you died your own stupidity anymore. See? That's exactly what I mean. A good amount of them are alive in there. One of those too. I'm already dead, might as well eat them. Try not to drop it right on the big group. You guys all alive? Nice. Oh. Not all of you, unfortunately. Come on, man. We had every opportunity to live. Oh, come on. How? Yeah. Come on. I am trying so hard to save you. Alright, you know what? If you can't figure that out for yourself, that is genuinely not my problem. Oh, come on! Alright, you're gonna be made into food. I'm afraid if I eat you, I'll get whatever is making you this dumb. Brain parasite? Oh well. I'm not too smart to begin with. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Why? I'm doing everything to let you live. I picked the cutest pond in Hyrule. This is, this is ludicrous. You guys are insane. I can't have the bow. I don't need the chest. 
Yeah, you guys do. You got a little treasure chest in your aquarium. Isn't that cute? Just say it's cute. Alright. Got some meat for the fish to eat. How? Why? You don't understand that I want you guys to live. Are you doing this just to spite me? Are you dying to be rude? Unbelievable. You're willing to go this far for a troll. Alright. Stamina, right? Yep. Long throw, no way, let's test it. Ooh. Look at that go. Alright, so when does it come back? Sword, can you go look for it for me? Oh, you didn't go nearly far enough. You don't have a long throw. Alright, alright. So the other sword isn't lonely. There we go. Are you guys eating the meat? You want a little snack? Yeah, I'm gonna go around over here. No one swim under the treasure. Because it will crush and kill you. I'm just trying to add more friends to the pond. I mean, fish eat each other all the time. How are you this stupid? How? Why? I don't understand. Oh no, a boomerang. I wonder how far I can throw it. Don't worry, I got a plan. Nope. Nice. Alrighty. Since there is it, now over the beautiful heart pond. And I think that's most of our amiibos that have fish. So we're going to start going on the land now. You can have a few radishes. Yum yum. You want some high school herb, man? I can't be the only one who thinks that sounds suggestive. Opal. Nice. I have no idea what day of amiibos this is. If I look at the calendar. 18? 19? 18? I don't actually know. I have too many of these. Not even exciting anymore. Flowers are beautiful up here, though. I also don't really have a topic for today's video to talk about. Hmm. I'm gonna electrocute myself, aren't I? Right, the chest right. Okay, I'm safe. That was scary. I'm sorry I made that sound. This is giving me the gosh darn apple. I 
And here's a weird tangent, I guess we can go on. Something I was thinking about earlier. Uh, I think that is always embarrassing when I get preachy. I just never know what to talk about. But in this world today, I always find it odd when people are upset that no one un understands them. And it's because I don't think anyone understands anyone, really. It's, unless you're a mind reader, it's hard to know what other people are thinking. Hard to know what they're going through. Why someone feels the way they do. And I think it's not important to understand people. I think what's important is accepting people regardless of whether or not you understand them. So I think if you feel misunderstood and miserable for it, uh, think about your friend. You gotta think, it's not about whether or not they understand you. You gotta realize you probably don't understand them too well either. You don't know everything anyone's ever been through. You know? And they're still your friends, aren't they? They're still their friend. So it's not about accepting. It's about understanding. I mean, I said that backwards and now this whole speech was your end. It's not about understanding, it's just about accepting. So, just keep that in mind. Just let your friends know that you appreciate them for who they are. And you accept them. No matter what they're going through, and I'm sure they'll feel the same for you. That might kind of ease the burden for some people who worry about never being understood. If that's a secret, Captain. No one fucking understands anyone. Always find that you always have those annoying people who go through phases where they get way into psychology. You take a psychology course and everything, and start trying to pry people apart and picking their minds, and oh my god, I learned so much about you, ooh. It's like, no you didn't. You learned a bunch of surface level stuff, you started scratching out the surface, and then you ignored so much to come to the conclusion that your book told you to come to. And you never took the time to just appreciate a person for who they are. That's sad. I don't like the psychology people. I think they're trying too hard to understand and aren't finding contentment. Plus, when you start trying to pull someone apart like they're a book, read all their pages, it's uncomfortable, you know? It's annoying, it's pretentious. Like, hey, maybe I was a jerk today. That doesn't mean that that's my state of being. I can have good days, too. This isn't anything specific. I don't socialize much, honestly. So I don't run into people much these days who are like that. But I know when I was a teenager, it was a big thing. And I feel like a lot of people who have the free time to spend on YouTube and aren't on YouTube Kids so they're watching, you know, could end up watching my content are probably teenagers they're probably around that age and it's a tough time, for sure but just keep it in mind, you know? it's not about who understands you it's about appreciating the people who accept you and accepting them too and that's all you need Like, I am accepting this dragon bone bow into my arsenal. It's always so embarrassing when I look back. It's definitely the worst kind of edgelord phase. I want to be dark, I want to be edgy, I want people to think that I'm, that I'm evil and cool. 
Uh, I was always making incredibly inappropriate jokes because I thought shock humor was just like, you know, my thing. I love I love that shock factor when you just say something just fucking terrible. Uh, and I'm glad I'm not that person anymore. Anyone currently going through that phase? Trust me, like I get it. You're going through a phase. It'll end eventually. Happens to everyone. We all go through phases we don't like, but uh, when you're older, you're gonna be real embarrassed. Those are gonna be thoughts when you're trying to sleep. You're like, I cannot believe I used to joke about that. I cannot believe I said that. What the hell was I thinking? I don't, I don't even have advice for that. Because while you're in that phase, you're not going to care, right? So you're just going to keep being in that phase and you're going to get through it. It's a part of your life. But I'm just preparing you for when you are done with it. You're going to be so, so embarrassed. It's always funny. Like, you know, I'm not an old man. I'm in my mid-twenties, so I'm still very much learning about the world still. Still figuring out who I am as a person. So I'm still going to go through a lot of cringy, embarrassing phases that I'm going to look back on and kick myself for. That's always the goal, isn't it? You want to look back and say that you're better than you were? Every month, every year, you want to look in the mirror and be like, wow, you sure were an idiot. And that's how you know you've gotten better. Hmm. I do actually need a shield that won't get shocked in the lightning. So a durability up one is good. This place in guardian durability is kind of bad. It's also funny because I'm in like this stage in my life where people kind of branched off, right? So I know plenty of people who have gone and started families and had kids and began their adult lives. And I have friends who are still, well, and I myself, and I'm also in this group, still strongly rejecting the adult life. I'm still immature. Watching old cartoons and their life is just binging Disney films and playing video games and enjoying that nostalgia. That's where I'm at right now, too. So it's weird when you hit that big divide in life. I think a really fun part is that if you can hold on to the friends you had in the past, and you're gonna have those adult friends listening to you talk about your dumb childish stuff. And you're still gonna be friends. You're still gonna have that connection. It's oddly adorable. But yeah, we became two totally different people. But I will eventually round out to who you are. For right now, I'm glad that you just let me enjoy being me. And that you stay my friend through it. So to all my friends who watch my videos, because I know I made a good lot of you guys subscribe, like my first 18 subscribers were all friends. Uh, thank you. Thank you for all sticking by me, despite me being a man-child still. Thanks for all of your support and kindness. Ooh. 
We got two amiibos left after this. That oddly just reminded me of a little story. Because I worked in a kitchen, it's important to know when you're about to run out of something, right? So, my first time running out of something, I told them when it happened, which was bad, because they should have been warned ahead of time. So there were still orders on their way with the item that I ran out of, and I got in, like, the very tiniest amount of trouble possible, right? Like, they understood that it happened. No one was really mad at me, but they're like, hey, just watch out for that. So from then on, I would always kind of count down when I have a few items left that I can serve before I'm out of ingredients or whatever. And one time, I counted down from seven, and this was over the course of a few hours because it wasn't a super popular menu item. So I was like, okay, I can make seven more. And I was like, okay, I can make six more. And I would, you know, tell the head of kitchen and tell the manager every time. And then I ran out. And I was like, alright, we're out. We're out 86 here. I, the menu item. Can't use it. And I still got three more. And I was like, I was as careful as I could ever possibly be with that. Why? Why does this still happen? You know, at that point, it's not my fault. It's, you know, the server made a mistake or whatever. Didn't see the board. Forgot that it was up. No big deal, but it's still just always embarrassing. I guess I get embarrassed too easily. I'm like, damn it, I tried so hard, and still it didn't work out. I just don't want to mess up anymore. Who are you? Are you ferocious? So you're still coming to the amiibo recordings, huh, bud? Ah, I love you, you big scaly bastard. Alrighty, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Make good choices. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.